sorry. Uh, Emerson says, Chicho in chat. Is there any more developments with Hong Kong and China? Feels like I've heard any, I haven't heard anything about this for a long time. Here's the thing with, uh, and this, this is another thing I wanted to talk about today as well, right? So we still have to decide what to do here because if, if we're correct, thank you very much uh, for the follow. I R N D A X T A X T A X Salute. Welcome to our live streams. But well, check this out. So in here, China's bringing peace here. China's bringing peace here. You Russia and China are bringing peace here. So this area, this is red might go blue dare we say blue we're long ways from blue because i think civil war is going to break out here civil war is going to break out in turkey yemen i think might go blue because once the civil war uh, that's my guess because the cia united states there's no way they're gonna allow the house of saud or people that are controlling the house of saud right now to completely decouple themselves from the u.s dollar right and turkey will see how the elections go and what the reply is this might go in regards to turkey and saudi arabia instigating or supporting the war in syria syria will still be red because of israel israel is going full-blown yellow right so this whole area is going to change the change with China and Taiwan, from what I understand, the United States is about to send a few hundred dollars worth of weapons to Taiwan. Taiwan is having elections this year in the next few months if, or if not the next few weeks. From what I understand, the party, the people that are more China leaning are leading in the polls, right? So if the party that wants to have peaceful relations with China wins and the party that are US puppets right now, the other ones you could say they're Chinese puppets, right? If the party that's in control right now, which is really a Western backed government loses and the government here changes where they're gonna start leaning towards China, how's that gonna play out? Is that like the United States sending, what was it, 400, 500 million dollars worth of weapons to Taiwan or selling that many, that much weapons to Taiwan and the United States stationing troops in Taiwan. From what I understand, the troops are already there, officially there, right? So is this going to turn red? Many people are guessing they will. Many people are guessing they will. Me being one of them, right? So if this if is this going to turn red? And is this going to turn not so violent, right? We know Africa's already going full blown proxy. It's already it's sort of been a proxy but it's been an economic proxy war, right? Between the West and China really. And Russia hasn't really been too active in Africa aside from diplomatic ties here and there. But now with the deal that they're going to build a small military navy base in Sudan, this thing's gone red. So how is the rest of it going to play out? U.S. already lost the proxy war in Ethiopia. They created a civil war there, and it looks like they're they're losing because Russia um, sort of played some games in the background, right? So Emerson, that's my take regarding, and as far as Hong Kong goes, right? Um, how is that going to play out? I think Hong Kong is pretty much China. You can't, it's going to continue to become less and less. Uh, like, for example, Hong Kong at one point 20 years ago was how much of the GDP of China? It was huge, like enormous. Like, was it 50% of China's GDP or 30% of China's GDP? 20, 20, at least 20% of China's GDP, like 20 years ago. Now it's down to like, what, 5% of China's GDP or something? And it's going to continue to diminish, right? Reduce, reduce. So Hong Kong has been 
absorbed into the sphere of China. There's no going back from that. There's no going back from that, right? And I don't think a civil war is going to break out there in terms of any unrest and whatnot. They've already squashed that, right? 